really psyched to see this game. Yeah, this conversation can make picks happen when the enemy team is grouped up even with that Bard ultimate. So we'll see how well Samsung has prepared this. I mean, it looks like they've been thinking about this for quite some time if you're going to be bold enough to pick that Bard. And that's going to provide even fewer options. Here comes Crown. Oh, but a gank towards the top. There's the Equalizer forcing Crown to flash out of it, but they still get the slow on to Smev. Can they get another gold card? He does. There's a wild card. Can QV dive the tower? He will. Crown tanking it for the time being. QV turning to Meganar at the end after he picks up the kill. Now Eve. Yeah, they do have that one extra tower to help equalize for that. Oh, there's a bar. Oh, not going to hit. Magical Journey over the wall, but a double knockup onto Prey and Gorilla. A gold card coming in. And that should be a kill onto Gorilla. He's going to get it. The spell shield at the end to avoid the death sentence into tower range in League of Legends. And right now, only two members here to defend this bottom turret. Eve is on his way as four members show up from the Ku Tigers, but there's a Destiny forcing the Tigers to back out, but it's actually going to be a gank in the top. The wild card's not hitting on Smeb, but Kyuve is in Mega Nar form as he tanks the tower in the beginning. He's going to turn to Mini Nar as he backs out from tower aggro. He'll be walking towards now uh, as he spawns. He does have teleport, but no need as he's coming just from base. Mega Nar pretty ready, but there's a medical journey and a stun onto Smeb. They're going to catch him out before he can do anything. Knock up, and he's down. The rumble goes down. Dragon started by Crown. Good pick by Samsung, but are they still up? It's going to be really... It's going to turn into a smite battle at this point if they keep this up. They're trying to burst down, and Wisdom is going to get it. Eve was actually too far from that, but Samsung trying to go for a fight. Nice explosive cast will keep Samsung all at bay, and there is the Destiny Gate coming. He flashes forward. There's a gold card onto Kuro. Kuro gets knocked off, but Crown's going to pay for it. He eventually does go down to Prey, and Samsung... Oh! oh Prey survives the last auto attack. Uh, the boat boomerang just barely missing. Yeah, top and bottom both pushing out pretty forward. And there's Here a teleport go. from behind from Kube. And there's Temper Fate. They got Prey. Prey is caught out. And Eve is positioned for the knockup. Prey gets slowed by the smite. Eve gets the kill. Crown, meanwhile, goes a little too deep. But there's a three man stun from Kube. Another stun coming in after his ultimate. Wisdom gets copy on Gorilla. Has to survive with the wild growth. But Fury picks up that kill. As Smeb gets stunned one more time by Kube. And Wisdom will he die to the Ignite. Luna will pick that up with the Ignite. What a fight by Samsung leaving only Kuro alive. Samsung also playing it a little safe, uh, but in an aggressive way as they do have the lead. And oh, they're looking for a pick onto Kuro. And oh, and there's a temper fade onto tower so they can just go dive. There's a flash forward and the gold card, wild card, boomerang blade. Nice kill onto Kuro. And then they'll just commence to take the tier two and make you may to you in the lane. The temper fade has a long range and Destiny Gate, of course, Coming in from halfway across the map. There's another Destiny. Is he going to come in with the Zonius? Can he get the gold stun? He's not going to. He's just going to have to Zonius right on the traps. And there is a good equalizer to disengage. Prey does get a kill. He is excited, but he has to run out. He's taking a lot of damage from the Boomerang Blade and Wild Cards coming in. Oh. Juve is here, but he needs to rest a little bit as he's fatigued. And there's a Temper of Fate. They get Prey one more time. There's the Equalizer and an Explosive Castle. It completely denies the initiation. Prey gets knocked up, and he will eventually go down to Fury, who's at full health. Fury just chasing forward, doesn't even care about the rumble running by his side as he goes forward for other kills. There's a nice ultimate from Juve. He's going to miss his house throw, but he's going to jump on over. Eve's going to get the knockup and not going to get the stun. Kuro's a slippery little yordle. Kuro's just going to get out. <laughs> yeah, I can't chase that one down, but it will be to turn into Meganar if he needs to. Nice smite by Wisdom trying to buy themselves some time. And there is a nice equalizer. He's supposed to cast against the wall, but there's the tempered fate. It's on to two members, but Kyuve was also locked up in that stasis. So a knock up onto Prey. Fury's actually a little bit low on health. He has to back out, and Crowd almost dies. And there's the body slam and double kill for Wisdom as he flanks the damage dealers. But on the other side, how many members of Samsung can stay alive as Wisdom body slams outside of his own base? Base just to make sure his teammates can survive and clean up the base with the minions and he's going to be able to lantern back out. Barrow chasing after Eve. He's going to heal back out as he goes under to regen. Now there is an empowered minion in the top. So Smev going forward and QV tries to knock two people backwards and they get the knock about to pray. He just gets deleted by Fury. Kuro having to run away. Eve goes for a three-man knockup as Crown picks up that one. Crown still full health from the side. Gets another kill with the wild cards in there. Not going to pick up Smeb as he flashes into Fountain. Uh, Fury does need to watch out if they want to finish this game for sure because he's got all the attack damage they need. Of course, Crown with that Lich Bean will help take down the Nexus turrets. And Samsung will pick up a nice win.
against the Ku Tigers in set number one. That was such a fun strategy to watch from Samsung. Something it looks like they've really innovated, tried yeah. out, practiced thoroughly. They had a very good idea of how to play it. Decisive engages. It still shows the risk of playing pick compositions in this meta because the Tigers were still able to fight pretty well from 15,000 behind. So you really do have to get a big advantage right there if you want to take those 5v5s.